Guess what we're doing today? I bet you can tell by these pretty Easter collars. We are going to make some Easter themed dog treats. To be specific, we're gonna make Easter egg dog treats. <laughs> what do you girls think, huh? You wanna make some treats? As always, you guys, if you're new to this channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. If you would like to see more of our treat videos, there will be some links up above and down in the video description below. Let's get to making some dog treats. What do you think, Memphis? What do you think, Shelby? Say yes, please. Let's make us some cookies. First thing we want to do, preheat the oven to 350. All right, we're going to make some Easter egg dog treats, which I thought would be kind of fun to do this year. First thing we're going to do is go through all of the ingredients. This is something new I'm trying for these videos. Tell me if you like it done this way or if you like it better the old way. Let's get into what you're going to need to make these treats. One egg already beaten, one tablespoon of coconut cooking oil, one quarter of a cup of chicken stock or bone broth or stock of your choice, one quarter of a cup of applesauce, one and a quarter cup of rice flour or whatever flour you choose. This here is optional, you don't have to add it. This is two tablespoons of dry coconut milk. As always, you guys, all of the ingredients I just listed, if you want to convert something or substitute something, you can just go to Google and type, what can I substitute this for in baking? And you should be able to find a pretty easy answer. Let's get to it. So, first thing we're gonna need, rice flour. Would you like to try some flour? This is like, no, I wouldn't. So the next thing we're going to add is the dry coconut milk. You can also use regular dry milk for this, or you can not use it at all. Um, I had somebody send me a message that said adding some of this to pure rice flour will actually make it a little easier to work with. And the reason I'm using rice flour for this recipe is because I want these to turn out more white even though I'm putting an egg and a little bit of stock in them, which is gonna turn them a little less white. I wanted them to kind of be as white as possible. So again, like I said before, you can substitute for a different flour using like a gluten-free flour or even an all-purpose flour. We're just gonna kind of make sure all this stuff is smushed up and stirred together. So the next thing we're going to do is we're kind of gonna make a little well in all of our dry ingredients. We're gonna set this aside. We're gonna take the applesauce, and I know this is a little tiny bowl. I'm gonna pour the egg into the applesauce, the coconut cooking oil into here as well, and the chicken stock. This is actually chicken and liver stock. Ooh, look at that. Wanna try that? Wanna lick that bowl? That's the bowl I think you're smelling, and you're like, yes, I wanna lick that. How about you, Shelby? You wanna lick it? Come up here. Nobody can see you under there. We need to get another camera so people can see you when you're laying down under there. She's like, there's nothing in the bowl. It just, oh, oh, I gotta lick the bowl. Yeah, lick the bowl. We're gonna call you soap and water. <laughs> so anyway, now we're gonna take the spoon and we're kinda just gonna stir the wet ingredients just together a little bit just so they're kinda mixed. And then in the dry ingredients bowl where we made the nice little well, we're gonna pour all those wet ingredients right in there. And now remember, we are making a dough that we're gonna be rolling out. So if your dough is too wet, you can add a little bit more flour. If it's too dry, you can add a little bit more water or broth or whatever. And now let's get this together. All right, so as you can see, it's all a nice ball shape. Wanna try some dough? I know you will. How about you, Shelby? Wanna try it? Shelby, Shelby, wanna try it? She's like, oh, maybe. Is it good? She's like, it'll be better when it's cooked. And as you can tell, I've already moved my towel out of the way. We're gonna go ahead and flour this surface and roll out some dough with my favorite rolling pin. Let's do it. I have my favorite rolling pin. As always, you guys, I will put some Amazon affiliate links to some of the things you see in this video down in the video description below. And I'll try to find the collars for the dogs and put them there as well. All right, so we are going to roll this out to about one-sixth of an inch thick. That's what we're going to attempt to do anyway. What, are you excited, Memphis? All right, so as we said, we are doing Easter eggs. I have ones that are a little bit bigger and ones that are a little bit smaller. And we're just going to do the thing we always do and cut out shapes. 
piece. One little piece. There we go. So you could have had that, Shelby. And now we're just gonna pick these up and lay them on our cookie sheet, and then we'll roll the dough out again. And there we have it. Now we are going to put these in the oven for about 10 to 15 minutes. And then we're gonna let them cool and we're gonna decorate them. I wanted to mention earlier, but I forgot, there's a few other ways you can actually decorate these. You can add a little bit of food coloring to the dough so that you have colored eggs. You can like split it up and add different color, like safe food colorings, or you can decorate them after with like yogurt chips or whatever other type of frosting you wanna use, a dog safe frosting. We're actually gonna use the like yogurty melting discs and we're going to paint them pretty much. So that's my plan. Come here, Shelby. So I was like, guys, I'm here. I was just standing by the door because I really, really wanted to go outside. You, you dropped it and Memphis ate it. There you go. You ate that piece. Memphis, would you like a piece? You want a piece? Good stuff. All right. We're going to put these in the oven, oven, like I said, for about 10 to 15 minutes at 350 and then let them cool so we can decorate them. So on to the next part. And as I said earlier, if you wanna see even more fun Easter themed treat videos, there will be a link up above in the cards and down in the video description below to a bunch of the other Easter themed things we've done. I don't think we've done decorated eggs yet though. So I thought this would be kind of fun. All right, let's pop these in the oven. So I left mine in for 15 minutes and then I turned the oven off and I left them in for about another hour. So they're actually nice and crunchy and solid. They did crack a little bit on the top, which is okay because I'm gonna decorate mine. And even if you're not gonna decorate yours, they kind of look like eggs. So now we gotta let them cool. Now we gotta wait more. What do you think of that? You don't like waiting, do you? We gotta live, wait a little bit more and then we're going to decorate them. Memphis, Memphis, you wanna decorate some eggs? All right, you guys, it's time to decorate the eggs. I'm going to show you what we're going to use to decorate our eggs. I have my little Nerdy Nummies melting pot, best thing I've ever purchased. And then I am using candy melts, which many of you ask about. These candy melts do not have cocoa. There are some of them that do, but I buy the ones that do not. They have all the ingredients. You can look them up online. Yes, they contain sugar, but once again, these are a dog treat, not a supplement. Something they only get once in a while. So we're gonna go ahead and melt some of these and coat the tops of these Easter eggs. You can also use yogurt chips, but yogurt chips do also contain sugar. So if you don't feel comfortable using candy melts or yogurt chips, you can also use these candy decorating pens. They will work on the eggs, or you can do like I said before, and you can split the dough and you can just dye it different colors, and that can be how you decorate them. What do you think? You ready? She's like, I'm ready to nap because I know this is going to take you a while. So I'm not going to really show you the whole process, but I kind of wanted to show you the setup of what I have going on. I'm going to go ahead and take some time and decorate some eggs. So I have some of them lightly coated. I wanted to tell you guys too, if this is something you decide to do, what I'm actually doing is I'm dipping them in the melts and then I'm taking a knife and wiping pretty much all of the coating off. So that is probably less than, this one here is probably one whole candy melt and this is less than one candy melt to actually be able to coat these. You really don't need that much to be able to coat them. So you kind of can do these little thin layers for those of you that may be concerned about the fact that there's a little bit of sugar in them. Oh my goodness. Look at how cute they turned out. So there is our finished product. And these dogs are so ready to try them. We went for a walk while the cookies dried. Did we go for a walk? We already went for a walk. That's how you guys are tired. And now they get to try them. All right, here we go. Time to try a cookie. Shelby gets hers first, then you can have yours, Memphis. Let's see, let's see if they're crunchy. Memphis is demolishing hers and it's gone. Shelby's trying to lick the frosting off, which is exactly what I thought she would do. <laughs> Uh, all right, you guys. Well, there you have it. As always, leave a comment down below letting us know what type of treat video you would like to see us make next. Come on back on Friday to see the Easter egg hunt video with the dogs for this year. Was it good? Did you even taste it or did you just swallow it? She's like, I just swallowed it. Swallowed it whole. All right, you guys. We hope you've enjoyed today's video. As always, thanks so much for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Stay positive, dream big, and we will see you again soon. Goodbye, guys. Oh, yeah, don't forget, 
We'll be at the Canadian Pet Expo in Toronto, Canada this weekend, April 19th through the 21st. Hope to see you there. Bye, guys. Sing a song with your sweet voice. I know you've been a good